Hello, so I went to drop off my weekend packages as you do as a reseller and I decided to do a quick stop at the Goodwill across the street and that quick stop turned into not so much. So here is the footage from there when I realized that, oh, I found stuff. <laughs> Once I go to the men's pan section, I was like, oh, maybe I should start recording when I found this brand I've never seen before. Uh, this is a pair of Merrells that happen to be my size and are green and a pair of vintage wedges. So cute and it looks like they've never been worn. Here's the rest of my cart. Oh, look, did I find Patagonia in an XL? And a cinchilla in a men's size? Oh my goodness. Did I find two of them? Yes, I did. I cannot. They were right by each other, just put out. Excellent. And then I went to the sweatshirt section and I found my first peach of YouTuber merch. This is Mr. Beast. If you don't know who Mr. Beast is, cool. I bet you don't know who PewDiePie is either. Congratulations. And I like ran to this piece because I have never found one of these. I've always wanted to, never did, and an ecstatic for less than $5. And you know what? Thank you. Hello and welcome back. So as you saw, I found quite a few things and I'm going to share them with you because uh, it was a little bit of a late reaction when I realized, oh, this is not going to be a quick stop. This is going to be like an actual thrift trip. So here we go. So I found Truck It, which if you didn't know, and I don't blame you for not knowing, is Little Wayne's brand that went slightly defunct and fuck, slightly defunct. That is what I said. Do not allude to anything different. Uh, in 2015 and has since tried to rebrand itself every year. It currently has a website that has wish list, pre-order, whatever. But here is a t-shirt from that brand. T-shirts at Good Goodwill is like $2. So sales are around the $15 to $20 range. I think I'll be all right. And I also found a tank top from Trunk Fit as well with some dudes on it. So I guess someone decided they didn't like Little Wayne anymore or maybe they were just tired of waiting. I don't know. But here you go. For $2.50 a piece, I'm pretty sure I'll be all right. And we're gonna go to Lucky Brand. I rarely find Lucky Brands, so when I do, I do try to pick it up when it's at a reasonable price. This is $4, which to me is a reasonable price. And it's green, and it is a pearl snap. It is very soft. This is unbelievably soft. And this is a men's small, so if I do deign to wear it until it sells, it will fit just fine, because while I am a Fem presenting person, I do fit in a men's small because I am the average height of a man, which is 5'9", if you did not know. That is the worldwide standard, so there you go. And when I was there, I was shocked. So the color of the week was green, and that means that yellow is the new merchandise. And I actually saw this piece first, which is a Patagonia, which I very rarely find here in my Hampton Roads of Virginia area. So this is Patagonia Cinchilla in a size extra large. This is all washed already, by the way. It'll go up probably tomorrow when I am slightly less tired and more motivated to do work. Um, but this is quite the pattern. And then next to it, this looked very plain, so I didn't film it until, you know, I did. And when I realized that, oh no, it's not just one, I got two Patagonia snap front cinchillas in a size extra large. And this is a much more normal color. So, I mean, extra large cinchillas, depending on the pattern and the style, can range anywhere from like $20 to $100. So 
I don't know what those are gonna go for, but they're definitely gonna go for the more than $5 I paid for them. So very happy about that. I also picked up these, um, which may have been a miss on my part. This is a gold. This is the first time I found this brand at the thrift store. This is size 28. And this right here is where we have our issue. So this has been altered. So this is a pair of 28s. So the 28 is still 28 in the waist, but it's like this weird, like they have altered the pockets. I haven't figured out yet if this is factory um, mess up or not. I feel like the rhyming would have been better with the actual word I wanted to say, but we will find out regardless. If nothing else, this will be a pay to learn type of deal. I know that a gold is normally a brand that most people look out for the first time finding it. I don't mind paying to learn if I learned that maybe getting older thing is not a good idea. And then the last piece of clothing I have to share with you is this uh, first piece of YouTube merch I've ever found. So this is Mr. Beast. I have never watched a single video from Mr. Beast. However, I do watch enough internets to know that that is worth picking up. So it is actually Mr. Beast branded. And I don't know what size this is because it's kind of faded, but it's purpley and it's front and then it's got the Mr. Beast logo on the back as like a spine graphic. But that particular one was selling for around $20, so I'm sure that's good. And then let's get into shoes and then the hard good that I'm sure was the thumbnail. So this is Zodiac USA. So it's a pair of leather wedges in a size seven and a half. And they are absolutely adorable with this lovely stud detail. These are vintage from the early nineties. And these are almost, I don't think they were worn ever. I don't know if it's going to show you. Yeah, they don't look like they were ever worn at all. They don't have any dry rot. They're super cute. And Zodiac USA wedges or shoes in general were selling in the $20 to $50 range, depending on what they were. The boots do go for more, but I do think with the summer coming up, if I actually get these listed, will be awesome for that. The other pair of shoes I picked up are for myself. This is a pair of Merrells that are barefoot with Vibram soles and they are in my size. And as you can tell, they are also green and teal and white. And I saw these and I thought they would be perfect to replace the last pair of barefoot thrifted shoes I picked up, which is this pair of New Balance Minimus. I actually ran a Tough Mudder in these, which is a 10 plus mile obstacle course. I will link that video up above if you've not seen it, but you can tell they have been well loved. This is a full on, I can fit most of my hand in this hole. There is a similar size hole in here, as well as the tread is pretty much worn down to the bottom. So these are gonna go into the Nike, Nike, Nike. These are gonna go into the Nike recycling program. So now that COVID has decreased in the public eye, the Nike recycling program has reopened up. So I try to go to the Nike outlet and recycle shoes that are in condition, which I would not want to donate them, but instead recycle them into um, tracks. That's what they normally put them into. They put them into high school tracks or um, turf material that is good for athletes. I'm gonna trade them in for this pair of barefoot running Merrell shoes and see if these are just as good as the New Balance Minimus. I have not had a pair of Merrells before. My friend Donna swears by them. We'll see how that goes. And then the very last piece de la restance, as people would say, is this. So this is a cornflower blue nine cup percolator. <sighs> 
from the 1970s and it is made in the USA. It has the lovely Corningware nine cup thing there. It is in this lovely thing. And if you spin it open, this is a nine cup percolator that has everything attached. So this sits inside. You put your coffee grinds on top. And this is one of the percolators that actually does not have a strainer. This cap actually clips inside and then you turn it and you see the spout there. It has a little opening and it actually turns into the, the cup where you put the coffee grounds and you're supposed to put this directly onto your stove and coffee is made. I, I might try this before I sell it, but this, as I posted on my Instagram um, stories, is worth between fifty and eighty dollars. However, this is worth that much because it is technically not available for resale or not available for sale at all. Because this P one four nine. Corningware percolator is on recall from 1979. So, do I want to risk my eBay store in selling this amazing percolator for $80? No. Will I put this on Poshmark and Facebook Marketplace? Absolutely. <laughs> but I might actually try to make coffee with it to see what happens. And the reason why it's on recall is because this handle here, you see that it has the stainless steel chrome um, spout here. This that is attaching the handle is supposed to uh, become unglued when under duress or frequent use, which is why this was recalled. So uh, I'm not going to risk my eBay store, even though despite the fact that when I did my Instagram, this exact thing was what I was giving you comps for. Uh, I do not want to risk another suspension, so this will not go on my eBay store and I will however put it on Poshmark if I decide not to keep it. And the reason why I would still resell this is because it was recalled as well as most percolators over six cups were recalled. People who are corningware enthusiasts, because it was not just cornflower blue, the style was made in actually multiple different patterns. At one point, maybe I will do a guide of Corningware for y'all as to what is and is not worth reselling. But this is definitely a collector piece. People that would just put this on display and not actually use it because they don't want to, you know, uh, become Anakin Skywalker, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this is still a collectible piece. People still do want to buy this. I have actually seen people post that, you know, they have still been using this from the 70s and have been fine, but because it was recalled, eBay does do the naughty snatch where it's like, no, you can't have this. Um, so I don't want to risk my account for that, but this was a really cool find for less than $5 and I kind of might want to try it out for myself just and be very uh, careful with it but this is really cool. And I'm happy that I found one. And this overall uh, thrift trip was amazing. I mean, if nothing else, even if I don't sell the Corningware piece, you know, that the Patagonia will pay for my trip, which was like $63. So I got a pair of shoes out of it nonetheless. So I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. And until then, bye.